All right, so I got a great question about Calendly versus Acuity and setting that up in Kajabi. Uh, so I wanna briefly kind of just show you the two differences and then um, show you why Calendly is probably the easiest to go for Kajabi. Um, and the reason has to do with I can easily bring Calendly into my web page, um, onto a page on Kajabi without having to use an external source like Zapier or something else. Uh, so I think Calendly is probably the best bet. Uh, Acuity and Calendly, they're extremely similar. They're both scheduling. So if you wanna do one-on-one -on -one appointments with people, it'll sync up with your accounts. So that um, so for me, like I use Gmail or Google for my um, calendar, and it'll look at that and block things out, block times out and things like that for me um, in Calendly and in Acuity. So you can do it either way. Calendly, uh, to create an account, basically just go sign up. It'll walk you through. Um, it'll send you an email, and then you have to go ahead and from that email, um, then some follow directions. And it basically will have you link up your um, accounts, which I haven't done yet. Uh, as you can see here, like you'll still have this. Like I didn't connect to my calendar yet. Um, because I use Acuity right now, um, but you'll create it, follow the directions on the scene on the screen, uh, and then once you get to here, you can just kind of exit out of here. Uh, so I just want to show you basically what happens is I've got it sets these up on its own. You can create your own, uh, but I can click this link, put some things into it, um, and I can do another thing on this, but I mostly want to show you how you can put this into Kajabi for you. Um, so if I go to the live page for this, which is what people would see if I gave them this link, this is what they'll see. So they can see when I'm available, uh, they can click it, see the times I'm available, and they can go ahead and confirm and schedule. Uh, so they put their email, their name, what they wanna talk about. Uh, and then I get an email letting me know that it's been created. Uh, so how can you create this into your site? So Calendly, again, is what I'd recommend if you're using Kajabi um, and you're doing this on your own, it's just easier. Calendly is also like eight or nine dollars a month, whereas Acuity is fifteen dollars a month, so it's a little bit of a price difference. So if you're just starting out, this is a little bit cheaper as well. So if you're not sure if you're going to have a lot of appointments, um, so how did I get this in here? Uh, so in Kajabi, you're just going to go ahead and go into Kajabi, log in. Uh, once you log in, what you can do is come up here to website. Website's going to bring you right here. Then you're gonna to go to Page Builder, and whichever page you want it to be on um, is where you're gonna have it. Uh, so I created a test one, but you're gonna come up to New Page, choose a theme, doesn't really matter, and then it's gonna create it. So I already created it, so I'm just gonna click on this one. If you already have the page, click on the page, and then come up to Customize. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, so I actually already did this, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So we're gonna go to Add Section, Custom Content, click Add. We can make this look different, the no, no picture, things like that. You can do what you want, what's comfortable. Um, and then what we're gonna come down, we're gonna scroll down here. Uh, you can make it bigger, smaller. Um, we're gonna come down to Add Content. And then we're gonna do custom code. And this is where we're gonna place some code. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and delete it. And we're gonna go find the code to put in here. So what we're gonna do is go back to Calendly. Uh, we're gonna go, if you just get to Calendly, you can click this wonderful C option and it will bring you to the page that we need. You're gonna choose which one of these scheduling meetings you want people to go to. Um, and then, what we're gonna do, and if you want them to have more of the, all of these options, you can come up here to this little thing, uh, but we're just gonna do one for now. So I'm gonna come right here to this little wheel looking thing, gear looking thing, and I'm gonna go add to website. Then it's gonna ask me what I want it to look like. So you can play with different ones. Um, you can see examples. So we can go ahead and look at what different examples look like. Um, and then do, do, do. Okay, that kind of failed. Um, so you can 
play around. I would play around with each of the ones if you want. I'm going to go ahead with the inline embed. Click continue. It's going to give me a bunch of code. I'm going to come down here to copy code. That check mark tells me it's copied. I'm going to go back up to Kajabi. In this code, I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to click save. Then I can change the words I want over here. Uh, but you can see it's right here. So now people can go and schedule with me from this website. Uh, so I hope that that helps answer your question on how to get Calendly into Kajabi. Um, and if you've got questions, just let me know.